Hey everyone, this is Derek Tangretti, Director of Integrated STEAM Education with Fair Chance Learning, and I just wanted to go over a quick tutorial um, in relation to Tinkercad and how we can print um, using a Dremel 3D printer. So, what we're going to do here today is I am on my Tinkercad main page on one of my other accounts, and I just want to create a new design in my work plane. So, I'm on my 3D designs. If you look on the far hand column, you have different options that you can do here but I'm going to select this blue create new design box and what I do is going to take me to my work plane. So when I actually click that it's going to auto populate and take me to my work plane um, and here I can go about making any project I really want but at the introduction of my video I said that I want to group items together which is really handy and a versatile skill to have when you are 3D printing so or even 3D modeling for that matter so what I want to do is on my right hand side I have a list of all the different shapes that I can use um, here are just the basic shapes and I can change this by using this drop down menu if I want but for right now I don't really want to so all I'm going to do is I want to use this box so when I click it you will see it highlighted. I'm just going to click and drag it over to where I want it on my work plane. And you can see that it has like that transparent orange outline right now. As soon as I let go, it's going to drop it there. And then I get all these dimensions for the particular shape. So you can obviously zoom in and out um, with your 3D modeling, which is very important uh, later on as you go. But you can experiment with how you want this to look. I'm going to actually reduce this shape just a little bit right now because I know around what it's going to look like for me. But I want to group two or more items to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to also grab a little tube here um, because say if I just wanted to make a little thing like I wanted to 3D print a lock or something along those lines, maybe a door hanger, um, how could I actually get this tube to combine with this box? So I'm going to drag my tube over in a similar fashion to what I did with um, my box and notice now that there's this orange portion um, overlying with the red element so what I need to do is I really need to make well first I want to make this uh, align so I actually want to make sure that this is the orange part is flush with my um, red portion and now you'll see that I actually do have um, two items and a little parts overlapping but now what I want to do is I want to group these together so that when I print it's one solid item and it's not printing two separate items that are going to break apart and be fragile so how do I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and use my like highlighter like you're copying and pasting on the work plane but I need to copy the whole shape and as soon as I let go you're now going to see that along my toolbar up on the top I've got this group function now you'll notice obviously you can also use control plus G if you're looking for the short code but when I hit this watch what changes with the colors so I'm gonna hit this and now you're gonna notice it's one piece so now this has been grouped together so when I go to print my file you have one piece and it's gonna come out exactly as you want I hope this helps and look forward to part two of how we actually print this to the Dremel printer. Thank you.